Hi there. We're going to be doing a short demonstration today of work -a jig Platinum for our creative team members. When we talk about a creative team member, typically that person is someone who's more task-driven in their day-to-day -day functions. And obviously we want the system to be very simple for them to be able to see their list of tasks and which projects they're supposed to be working on, and also to be able to update those and have the information they need to actually facilitate their tasks. So the first thing that anyone has to do when accessing WorkMajig is sign in. Today we're signing in as Zane. Zane is a graphic designer. And when I sign in with my user ID and password, that's going to open up to my Creative Today page. And as a Today page, it's basically guiding me through my day. So you'll notice that I have little cards. Each of these cards is representing a different project and task that I've been assigned to on that project. And I can also see if there have been any updates to any of my tasks. I can see what do I have left in the duration of my assignment. I can update how far along I feel I am percentage-wise. I can also very easily add my time to my task. And I can do this in one of two ways. One would be just a straight time entry. And when I select that, my time entry is prepared for me, except for exactly how much time I needed to enter. So I don't have to go into a big grid entry timesheet and make four or five selections just to update my task. I can simply let the system know how much time I've spent and what have I been doing? That's going to do two functions in my work -a jig The first function is automatically it's going to be updating my timesheet. Secondly, it's letting the project know that I've been working on this task. If that was the very first time that I had updated my task, it would be putting in an actual start date. So anyone managing that project, they know that I've started. When I finish my task and ultimately mark it at 100% completed, it will remove it from my task list because obviously I won't need to work on it anymore. But it will also then let the project know that this task has been completed. And if there are any dependencies established in our workflow, the next task can be alerted to begin. I can also drill into any of these tasks to get the details because oftentimes we need specifications, we need the files we've been working on, we need descriptions, we need to see if there's been communication. So when I drill into that task, it's going to produce for me all the information from the project that I might need. With the update, it's always going to show me what that update has been. There was a new spec sheet added, and I could open up those spec sheets and review the information that was provided to me. There might have been files, and I can certainly go in and access any of the files that I'm supposed to be working on or making edits to. There might be a to-do list, so essentially a checkoff list of things that I need to accomplish to complete this task. And sometimes there might even be conversations that have been going on regarding my task, or I could even initiate a conversation. If I have question about my direction, I can easily say, I'm going to add a new conversation and ask for some clarification. As you can see, this is really just a simple email setup. And I can certainly include many people from the project or even others from the office or even the client. And when I do so, that will then immediately send an email from WorkMajig to everybody's regular email account. And that will appear as if it was coming from my regular email account, so it won't um, look any different from any other email communication that we've typically done. The best part is when someone receives that email, whether they're on their phone, on their tablet, on their computer, they can simply reply back to me. And their replies will go to my regular email account but 
because I initiated this conversation out of work, Majig, every reply will also naturally come back into the system and get threaded as a historical record of communication in this project so I can refer back to those conversations at any time to refresh my memory about what we've discussed or the direction I should be taking. Now, not everybody appreciates the card type format. A lot of people love it, but it doesn't have to be that way. You could also review your list of tasks in a more listing style format. So it's truly just a personal preference. Either way, you'll still be able to see when you're supposed to be working on things, what you still have open, and be able to drill into any of those project details that will guide you through that task and update your time and percent complete. So either direction is just more of a personal option. You would also even have the option of deciding how would this information display-wise speak to you as an individual most effectively. So there are display options for each one, so you can choose date ranges, groupings, sortings, and even if you'd like to see a task before its predecessor has been completed, or not until, because technically you shouldn't be working on it until that's happened anyway. The other nice thing about Workamajig is if you're going to be part of any of the meetings that are happening, those will show up in your schedule for today along with any of the time entries that you've made. So you have an ongoing tally of all the time that you've tracked and any meetings that you're supposed to be attending. If those meetings have happened, you can simply drill into it and the time entry for that meeting is already prepared for you. You simply need to save that so that we know that you definitely attended and was this the correct time frame so that we know how much time we spent on that meeting. Now there's other parts of Workamajig that you might access, but we find that most of our creative team members pretty much live in their today area because it has all the different information that they need right at their fingertips, and it does certainly make it very easy for me to update any of my tasks and my time. I could even go back in time. So if I did forget, I can ultimately go into a different day and enter in time from that day on any given day. So as long as we are moving forward and keeping our information as close to accurate as possible, that's the goal, of course, but we want to make it easy for you to update even if it happens after the fact. With Workamajig being in an HTML5 responsive design, as a creative team member, you can do any of the different functions that we've just reviewed, not only from your computer, but also from any tablet or smartphone. You do have access to other areas of the system as well, but that's really going to be depending on what your role is and how much access to other areas your firm will want or need you to have. So the main goal is to make sure that you have all the information that you need in a very simple to use format where you can easily just jump right in, drill into any details to gather that information, and be able to update your tasks very quickly so that you can move on with your day and keep things on track and on time. And obviously, if that's something that we can't do due to uh, a miscommunication, due to not having the information that you need, or just because sometimes there's slippage, you can then initiate those conversations with the rest of the team so that everybody's in the loop about what's going on, and we can then keep our clients informed if there is any potential issue with getting things done in the time that we initially planned. The rest of the area on your screen here is also going to be something that we can uh, update to your liking. Um, not everybody will want a field of daisies. Um, everyone can decide if there's going to be logos from your firm presented on your dashboard. And so this portion of the system aesthetically is very easy for any of your system administrators to be able to adjust and even allow access for each individual to customize their own. 
So we want to make sure that it's a place that you want to come because not only is it easy, it's producing the information you need, and aesthetically it should be pleasing as well. So if you have any questions at all, please do feel free to contact us. We hope that this video gives you an idea of what a creative team member might be able to utilize in Workamajig and how easily it could be for those folks to be able to adopt the system. Have a great day.